I'd like to talk to you today about a Diels Alder reaction in which the diene that's given to you is in the S trans configuration. And we know from our lecture here that that's not the correct orientation of the diene. Instead, we need to take the S trans configuration and turn it into the S cis, which is not a difficult task to do if there are no substituents at this position or at this position. So in this example, your S cis reacts with this dienophile and it results in us getting this for our product, which is a meso product, so it's your only product. Now, it really comes down to orbital overlap. So here in the S trans conformation, the orbitals that we need to overlap with are here. So we can come over and get good alignment here, but this is just too far away. So instead we need to swing around this double bond here to the S cis orientation. And when we do that, we have nice proximity for good constructive orbital overlap here. Now the tough thing to do in these problems is if you're given a diene in which we have like a substituent, in this case it's a methyl off of one of our carbons and another methyl down there, how do we take something like this and draw that S trans into an S cis? Well there's a, there's a trick that we can use here. We can look individually at these double bonds and if we do that, we can see without too much difficulty that those H's are trans. So if they're trans, if those H's are trans in the S trans conformation, they need to be trans in the S cis conformation. Down here, is the same thing's true. Those H's are also trans to each other. So we need to maintain that. First thing to do is to come around and draw our diene in the S cis conformation. And then when we put our methyl group, we have a choice. We could put our methyl group pointing this direction or we could put it pointing that direction. And all we need to do is remember that it was trans in the original structure. And we'll put in our CH3s. And we just need to make sure that that H is across from this one. That gives us a trans. And that this H is also across from the other H on that double bond that gives us trans. So now that we have the correct orientation of our dienophile, we've drawn it in the S cis conformation here. So we have, right? We can look back at our reaction. So if we look at our reaction here, here is the reaction written out. Here is our S cis conformation. We correctly rotated our um, alkenes to be cis to each other and we have our methyl groups in the correct orientation also. As we approach from the bottom we get this kind of uh, boat conformation and we get our H's pointing up here, methyls pointing down, right? Sorry, um, aldehydes pointing down rather, methyls pointing down here also, right? And when we take this molecule and we rotate it around and make it flat that puts our aldehyde groups here on dashes and then our methyl groups here on dashes also. And that's our only product because this is a meso product here. 